Hello all, welcome to AuraTrainings.com. In this session, we'll discuss about how do we configure URL of a report using Page Composer Sandbox dynamically. So we need to understand this particular syntax. So let us understand this syntax first. So here, this particular URL, what exactly it provides is it is having three keywords. The first one is the protocol, HTTPS. The second one is the header one. It's like a, a request header. In this header request, we have a variable called host. So finally, this hash followed by the braces and header and host will provide the URL of the website which you are accessing. So in our example, so what we want to do is we want to invoke an AP invoice report using this particular syntax. But why do you require this kind of syntax? Why can't we simply hard code the total URL of the report? In general, what we happen, what happens is if at all, if you are hard coding a URL of a report, and if it is a non-dev environment or if you migrate to another environment, definitely you'll be either you have to replace the URL every time. And other thing is whenever whenever there is a clone from the production to non-production environment, definitely the production URL will be accessible from the non-production environment. So that's again a bigger issue. So the easiest solution for this one is always use a dynamic URL rather than the static URL. So now let us see where exactly we can use this particular logic, right? So first of all, let me show you the report. So this is one of the sample BIP report, and I want to access this report in one of the pages. So let us say I would like to access this particular URL, the report URL from the payable invoice page. So what I'll do is I'll just create a sandbox with a page composer tool. I'll just click on create sandbox and I'll say dynamic report sandbox. And the tool what I require is page composer create and enter now the sandbox tool will get created and we'll be opening our page in the sandbox mode so we'll navigate to the payables invoices and here we just want to insert a new link right so i'll just click on tools page composer somewhere in the you know like uh, the below header part we'll just create here like maybe in this portion so wherever possible we can just try that the positioning so probably like this is the positioning we can try so here in this one i have an option plus so i just go with this i'll click on plus symbol here and it is asking the component i'll go with a hyperlink component okay so we got one link got created here okay so i'll click on close and now click on this hyperlink and click on this edit icon. So now what I do is, so here, I'll just copy the URL of the report. So here, okay. So I'll just mention report or I'll say AP invoice report and the target frame. No, the destination is, this is the one. We have to mention the destination of the URL and no partial triggers short description you can ignore and blank target is a blank target frame is a blank nothing but it will open in a new window and here by default it will generate this particular one click edit icon to define hyperlink so i'll just better click on this icon and click on expression builder and i'll say ap invoice report apply and now if you want to change the style, you can just increase the font size also. Maybe you can just increase it to 12. Okay. Click on okay. And now you can just close this. Now I'll just close this one also. And now now try, if you just mouse over here, it is definitely navigating or looking into the, the destination URL which we mentioned. Right, so this is one of the easiest way, like rather than hard coding your report URL, just use this particular host syntax and yeah this is syntax header host you just need to use the syntax header host x slash xml server and the remaining is just your report path okay so this is all about accessing dynamically the report url from the sandbox tool thank you